Welcome back. Namibian actor Adriano Fastaghi has been nominated in the male brand influencer category at the 2023 Africa Choice Awards in Nigeria. Adriano now joins us on the line to give us more details on this nomination. Adriano, good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening, Nina. Thank you so much for having me. We always uh, we used to having you in studio, but today we're talking telephonically. Um, so yeah. how, t tell us how it feels to be nominated, uh, you know, for this Male Brand Influencer Award. Quite a big uh, award, you know, concerning the 2023 Africa Choice Awards. It's a huge, huge platform. Absolutely. You know, the first day when they mailed me, they're like, listen, you've just been selected. I was in awe, honestly, because... You know, first time, you know, really exploring the digital space and, uh, you know, being recognized as an influencer this year just really stood out for me. So it's such an honor. And also just being nominated against counterparts such as Louis Munana and Danola Gray from Lagos itself. So, yeah. I'm in awe, in all honesty. <laughs> You've really found your niche um, as an influencer, Adriano. Adriano, talk to us about, you know, the brands that you've worked with as an influencer and the impact that you've had on their campaigns because that's what brands are looking for at the end of the day, that the individual they choose as an in influencer really will impact their brand positively. Right. And it's rightfully so, like you said, you know, it's, it's what I've realized, especially exploring the digital space, it's not necessarily how many followers you have, but the type of influence you have. So many times we say, yes, you are influential, but how, what is it that you influence? So, for example, uh, the brands I've worked with this year has been Taufa Lager. I've worked with Visa. I've worked with some of the Unilever products, which is your Kno, your Robinsons, your Aromat. And, uh, yeah, we've got a little, little exciting thing coming through before the end of the year, also one, with one of the Unilever products just before the year ends. So, in all honesty, the campaigns I've worked on this year has just been a huge, huge blessing for me. And like you said, you know, the digital space is so broad and there's still so much that one could explore and still do within uh, being an influencer. You mentioned the other names of the gentlemen that share this category for male brand influencer 2023 with you. And, you know, it's people that we know, it's popular people also making um, their mark. Um, so what do you believe sets you apart as, as male brand influencer? What values and qualities do you bring to your partnerships? One thing that I do bring to my partnership is absolutely professionalism and the fact that one could always still continue to collaborate. I think because I really sell authenticity, being a brand influencer is really all about being how authentic you are and from where you come from. So many times you find people that, you know, walk into a space and they don't tell stories that people can relate to. So one of the stories for me, uh, especially having been part of Visa, was to really say, but listen, I don't have a black card, but I've got a gold card. Uh, you know, how do I use this to sort of book a flight? Versus me being on a Tafel Lager ad and then sharing, you know, my childhood memories versus, uh, you know, where I am now as an adult. So being an influencer really does also depict how you make the brand part of who you are as an individual. But it would be countless and really purposeless for you to be selling a product that you can't relate to. For example, if I sell Huggies and I don't have a baby, it would be pointless to be selling Huggies. So that's, yeah, that's just an example. You've mentioned a couple of brands that you've worked with and you've mentioned how special each of them are in the individual way. Would you say that they've all been, you know, very memorable experiences or is there one that really stands out for you? I think for me, the first one that really st stands out for me is, is the Taufel Lager brand. Uh, you know, in hindsight, they, they approached me and most of the brands that I've worked so, with so far has really approached and knocked my doors. And there is definitely something that I'm appreciative of that. And uh, why Tafa Lager is just because they, they explored what it is to be brave. And I think in this very same time that we're living now, uh, one needs to knock on our own doors and really ask, what does bravery mean? And being, having been part of a story where you need, really need to become vulnerable and they keep telling you, but please share with us what it was like growing up. So in hindsight, I, had, I got to share uh, my life and my journey and also the beauty of how I really got into TV presenting and uh, into the media because, uh, you know, in all honesty, I'm sharing that now is that we didn't have a TV and I grew up in a shack. So we would go to the neighbors and go watch TV and I would watch the Oprah Winfrey show. And then when they had to dish, I would run home. 
So those are stories that the Taufa Lago brand could really, you know, tell the public. And I was so appreciative of sharing that personal journey of myself. I think a lot of Namibians, of course, know you, Adriano, is Namibia's, one of Namibia's most prominent um, actors. And, of course, you've solidified, you know, your role as a brand influencer as well. How do these two sort of, you know, roles that you undertake complement each other? <laughs> you know, as an actor, I think, you know, you, you still have an influence in terms of the character one plays. It's either people love the character you play or they hate the character. So with every character that you play as well, I think there's, a little depiction of what people would want to have. So they sort of are what I would say cousins because at the end of the day, uh, wherever I walk or wherever I go, there are people that want to take a picture with me or just be in awe of the roles or the brands that I've worked with. So all in all, they really do merge and solidify as one brand, if I have to put it in that way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're currently doing is what a lot of aspiring influencers yearn for, dream for. You know, it's a stage that they want to reach where they work with all of these prominent brands. So what, what advice would you give to them, you know, in order for them to work towards making a name for themselves in this industry? For me, what's important is that one needs to always guard your brand. I say that branding is so important. And earlier this week, I shared something in a video on my social media that said that to trend now is okay, but what is the purpose of trending? So momentarily is where one trends, but what do you trend for? Because what you potentially trend for now, which is just a momentary thing, can have a huge influence in your future clients. So one, it's so important to guard your brand. You should also be in a space of where people want to work with you. I think if you have a diva attitude, for example, um, you know, that, that doesn't budge because then people would not want to work with you. So one, be professional, show up. Also, if a client is not meant for you because not all brands are meant for you, look at a brand that also aligns with your vision because, yes, it's okay to say yes for money, but what impact would that brand have on you? So that's just advice that I'm giving from my uh, few years of experience within uh, the influencer space. It's absolutely incredible to see the likes of you, Adriano, and, and other Namibians, of course, being nominated you know, on a platform as big such as this. What are your thoughts on the role of African talent and influencers in shaping the global entertainment you know, landscape? As Africans, we, we're definitely getting there. There's a saying that says, Africa, this is your time. I think it's been Africa's time. It's just that we have not been granted the opportunities and the platforms. So when we have platforms like the Africa Choice Awards that doesn't say, oh, please enter and you'll be nominated, but they literally say, listen, we recognize you from a country of 2.5 million people, then that makes me eager to continue doing what I'm doing because it also creates a platform for the young generation to come to say, but those are the footsteps I want to follow. So by leading these footsteps, we need to do it with such cognitive exemplary so that we can also influence the generation to come that they know that it is meaningful, it is purposeful, and that they do matter within this space. Adriana Fasakhi, always a pleasure speaking to you. All the best with the nomination and keep flying that Namibian flag high. Thank you so much, Nina. Thank you so much for having me.